Hello, let me just test if this is working. So what I wanted to do right now, I figured, yeah, it's working, awesome. All right, closing this, I have the chat over here and that is all good. Yeah, okay. So what I wanted to do right now is to, I have had some ideas about the world building and uh, Actually, I was talking with some of you guys and uh, you triggered some of the ideas, like uh, Dan actually, he mentioned some other ideas for how we can, should call our priest unit and that triggered a whole other series of ideas. So I figured that maybe I can try doing this during the stream. I don't know if I can even focus to actually think creatively because when you're thinking creatively, you're just quiet, maybe you're walking or you're looking at the floor or something, I don't know, but <laughs> I wanted to give it a shot and if some of you guys actually see the stream and have some ideas, you can you can tell, tell me what you think. Hey, you're here, I was hoping, Dan, you're here, I was just mentioning you. <laughs> Awesome. I was actually hoping that you might uh, be around, but I, did, I didn't even plan to stream this, but then I just, uh, well, I had the idea, let's, let's try this out. So, the... just a moment. Ah, I lost my mouse. Alright. So, uh, you suggested something uh, for priests. We had to have these units uh, Priests, they're basically healers. Let me add one here. No. Oh. I don't know why it's important for me to add him on the other side, but anyway, so we have these healers and uh, we call them priests. And uh, actually, uh, Dan or Gan on the like on Discord, he suggested that maybe we should have a different name since it's not really the same religion like in our world because this is a fantasy world. And then he gave us a few ideas and the winner was Purifier. So that sounds really something like that can be part of some magic religion, something where they're using magic to like remove curses, wounds, even, even heal. So that was really good and I figured, all right, I really need to think about the whole religion thing and everything, like what is there, what is going on there in that world. Uh, so, oh, by the way, we have running animation, check it out. <laughs> they, they will be able to run and attack at the same time and everything. We're gonna work on that on Monday. Right now I'm actually not working today, but I figure let's let's do some a little bit of writing. Anyway, about religions. So I had the idea that maybe oh wow orcs <laughs> really look scary now. Yeah, I think they're going to look awesome when when you when you put few of them. Let's say we have three of these crazy bastards. And look at them charging now. Like, it's... <laughs> Alright, now they're running in uh, place because we didn't really implement any, any of this. We just uh, tried it out if we can combine animations. But yeah. Uh, so, about religions. Alright, so I wanted us to... First of all, we need to think about history of this world. And one of the things that I uh, figured that it should be different is that, uh, let's say that um, in this world, evolution didn't really work out the same way like in our world. So in this world, there is this like magic that everybody can use, but they need to be intelligent to use it. And then let's say that the evolution is just that... Uh, intelligence didn't uh, appear in one only race like here with humans but it appeared with all kind of different races they started slowly increasing it right with evolution with uh, well as they are rewarded for being smarter by natural selection right so in this case let's say that uh, that's why we have so many races so we have some really dumb ones like murlocs not exactly murlocs but you know frog people and they are not very smart but they are so whole separated species i mean they are like lizards or so what is the 
I don't know what's the branch there on English. And they would be able to use magic, but a little bit, and they live in tribes and on the rivers, and they are not super intelligent. And then there are classes in the middle, like orcs, they are kind of in the middle, they are smart, but they are really strong, and that's how they are thriving. And I was actually thinking, I'm not 100% sure about this, tell me what you think about it, but I was thinking about not having humans, about having only elves and dwarves, and then elves are actually how the humans evolve into even more intelligent creatures than we are. Uh, salamanders. Salamanders, what is that? Should I google that or is that something you thought of? Oh, that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Your English is really good, by the way. I, I'm guessing that you learned it really early on, right? I have. I was in, unfortunate that I wasn't really... When I was really young, I had, didn't have internet or even uh, access to the computer, so I learned English in high school only, so... No? When did you become really fluent in English? Hmm. Nice. Hmm. That is like, what, five, six years, yeah. Be reading comics and watching YouTube. I learned it by uh, playing World of Warcraft. I actually started playing. I didn't know what people were even telling me to do in dungeons. And then eventually I had to learn. <laughs> step by step. But... It still could be improved a lot. Anyhow, so let's use this word. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's let's ask Google. Salamanders. Yeah, I got it. Salamanders. Let's say a few of them like orcs. Dwarfs, they could be something in between. Actually, dwarfs could be pretty close to elves, but not as intelligent. They're more technical and things like that, while elves, they are really intelligent. And the more intelligent they are, the more magic they can use. So, they that's why most spellcasters are going to be elves. While they won't have huge, strong warriors, but they will have warriors that are combining magic to fight like warriors. Uh, but reading, watch them. Humans are indeed pretty boring to see again and again in, in a fiction, and it would be and it would leave place for new races to be seen in the game. However, that means not over overdosing on wars and else either to make up for the lack of humans. Well, I don't know. I figured like in Lord of the Rings they had humans, and like from there on on every single fictional world they have humans but if we imagine this new world that is completely new and evolution and everything worked differently it's a whole other planet there, there probably wouldn't be actually humans that evolved exactly like us at this moment of the time so yeah and as you said maybe they are overdone in this fantasy well elves and dwarves and orcs they're all overdone in these worlds but still I don't know, I feel like maybe we can just have elves be the closest things to humans and actually your main character is an elf. And also I imagine that this world would be really huge, like 10 times bigger than our world. So that's why there are way more territory and then there are elves and they are, since they are super smart and they can use magic, they are pretty much the strongest race in this world. And what I imagined right now is that they would have one continent that is like Elven Kingdom. And they are pretty much untouchable but by other races, but they are not some crazy conquerors. They would like pride themselves that they are not, even though they are, they conquered one whole huge continent. But they are not spreading, they don't need the whole thing. But they are going outside in the world and... So that's why your character who left these elven kingdoms pretty early on has no idea what is going on in the real rough world, right? And in the other in the other ones there would be some main kingdoms and uh, well, it still needs to be baked a lot. <laughs> yes, I would. Yes, no human. I think it's for the best. Yeah. 
So, about religions. Let's say that, uh, for instance, in our world we have religions pretty much because we have no idea what is going on and we need something to tell us, to tell us how to live. And that's what Bible is maybe even good for or was good for for a long time because it told you like, don't kill, you're gonna go to hell. But actually don't kill because the whole tribe is going to go to shit if we start killing each other. Or don't uh, like cheat wife because again somebody is going to kill you or stuff like that. So in this world it would make sense that the religion, because they have magic, what is, what is one of the main differences, it would make sense that their religion would be kind of, uh, r how to say, around these magic systems. So, let's say that we have light magic, it's it's like a spectrum, it's a magic, it's something from another world that they are pulling from, they don't completely understand it. By the way, everything that I'm saying is completely open for any suggestions because I still have to brainstorm this a lot and this is the gist of it, but if you have any suggestion about any of this, you can say it. So yeah, in this case we would have Church of Light and this would be one kind of magic that is usually like healing, priests, uh, there is even damaging magic and stuff like that, but it's mostly based on light. Then we would have on the whole other side, they don't have to be churches, we'll see, maybe that's just how people are calling them, but they are calling the same differently, we'll see. Church of the Dead, I guess we need the light, I don't know. And Church of the Dead, uh, you look too bright, maybe because blinds right, are open. Oh, Troda, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, probably, this is the one more. Is this, is this better? I didn't see your mess. Oh, you didn't say anything. I guess this is better. This is without anything. This is with one light. Um, anyhow, Church of the Light, Church of the Dead would be something that is on whole other side, and they are dealing with. Uh, they have like necromancers, warlocks, and they are dealing with curses. Maybe they are have. Witches are kind of in the middle of this and uh, another one that I'm going to write right now But basically they are on the opposite side and they are really against each other like two religions But they have actually real good reasons why they're they're built around different uh, school of magics so to say and church of something like elements Basically, this is like mages, uh, people who are using fire, frost, anything like that. So, all of these things, it still needs to be cooked, I guess, but imagine that there is like a pool of something that they are pulling from another realm and they are using it to manipulate things. And they can do that with pretty much their intelligence, so the smarter they are and also they are some people are more, some people are less uh, likely to be able to use this, so not everybody is a mage. <clears throat> uh, so then you said, I have ideas of how to write the Church of Dead so that it does not look like regular bad guys. Yeah, I didn't want them to be bad guys, they're just dealing... Basically, imagine we have this whole range of magic in this world, and they just uh, created religions trying to re realize what the hell is going on? And they maybe have their gods and stuff. Gods are not real in this world, neither. Oh, neither. Sorry for everything. <laughs> so, gods are not real in this world. They're just something that these religions are built around their, well, original, well, not original, their preferred magic uh, type. Still too bright. Leave the lights on, but close the blinds on the window. He's uh, so bright because he's part of the light. Yeah, I'm part of the Church of Light. I don't know, I think I would be more in the elements. Alright, how about this? Like this or like this? This is with two lights. 
I don't know why it's so brighter right now. I mean, everything is closed, but... Hmm. Alright. So what ideas did you have about the Church of the Dead? Uh, do you have some, like, bullet points? <clears throat> so evolution... Oh, by the way. I did something here. I made a folder. Wait. Get a shareable link. Anyone can view. Yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna share it for now in announcements, but I might add it somewhere else. And you can now open any file that I'm editing in case you want to check out something else that is not on the screen right now. Well, naturally, the Church of Light would be against the Church of Dead because stuff like curses and bringing people back to life is not exactly virtuous, yeah. Yeah, definitely. What are you talking about? Hey, Saleh, that's my younger brother. Uh, well, what am I talking about? What are we talking about? Basically, we are uh, thinking, uh, brainstorming about the world building in this in this world. So one of the main points here was that the evolution worked differently, that there are many races that became intelligence versus just humans in our world, and the most intelligent one can use the most of the magic in this world, and then we started talking about religion, and religion is built around the magic in this world, and magic has a spectrum from uh, light spells like healing or even some damaging light spells, or shields, stuff like that, to elements, and all the way right to the dead, like rising dead, necromancers, warlocks, stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah, so that's the gist of it. And now we're just, uh, well, talking about what's the relationship between these uh, religions. So... Uh, However, the argument of the Church of Dead would be that the dead is only natural as well, and defying it for one's own well-being is a right, like cursing poison. For them, that is less of a taboo talk. They accept, yeah, yeah, I agree. It's something that is natural. And also, I actually am still on the fence about this. I was thinking that maybe bringing back the dead is not really bringing back the dead. They're just using the magic to simulate it like a, like a zombie, you know, it's... I don't know, in different fictions it's different, but let's say that in uh, some fictions a zombie is back, but he's not really conscious, he's not really himself, who the person who was. So maybe just the magic is kind of simulating the the character there, so it's not uh, they're kind of dumped down in the undeads unless it's a demon, but demons wouldn't be really undead demons would be in the live body and we're gonna get into that later uh, the stream is super laggy, it keeps pausing every 1-2 seconds for 3-8 to eight seconds and then pauses keep getting more frequent really? is Dan, is that happening to you as well? Actually, it's kind of random, but yeah, didn't pick up anything you explained. Oh, sorry. I see that connection is fine on my place, so it might be... You see, for Dan it's working, so maybe mom is using playing World of Warcraft or downloading something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, try lowering the quality. Is, there, is that even an option on Twitch? I think that's an option if I'm, uh, like... Uh, associate partner with them. If I'm not, maybe it's not. Actually, I can check. Let's see. Actually, uh, no. <laughs> but you can probably select auto. <laughs> Don't speak that things. <laughs> All right. Uh, Let's write some notes. Okay, so 
they're obviously against against church of the dead we're gonna use that because i'm too lazy then what else church of the light church of the dead they well the reasoning is like uh, think it's unholy oh here is an interesting thing that we can do uh wait let me just read this hmm not really this case weird everything else works fine I mean, ah let's see yes yeah, stream is randomly blurry oh for you too let me see if i can maybe lower the quality uh shoda what is your internet speed is it the same as mine or is it lower speed i don't know if i can open settings here i can but let me see if i can change bitrate i cannot all right you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna pause the stream and i'm gonna continue it right away but i want to change the well this number here it's right now 3k but probably some people can't really download it that, that speed so let's try a bit lower version of that uh i guess we are on so now it's 2k and it was 3k so it's like 33 percentage less now uh, the quality of the video might be a bit worse i don't know let me check how it looks on my side. I don't know. Let me check. How Actually, it looks, it looks fine. It looks it looks fine. Yeah, I don't know. Is the quality worse for you, or is it the same? And is this helping with lag right now? So wait. Anyway, so the Church of Dead sees that as normal, a part of the life. Com Paralyzed, compelling it, nothing evil, just natural, and natural can be scary, but it isn't evil. Brainstorming how to fix streaming quality, <laughs> come join us. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Unique thing, <laughs> doing this. Uh, so, think, think about this. Do you know uh, how familiar you are with the argument for abortion and against abortion? So basically, some people are strongly against it and some people think it should be illegal. And here is the thing, people who think it's the uh, people who are against it, they are very they, they think that the people who are killing uh, who are aborting are killing babies. They because they see the small fetuses as the babies, while the other people who think it's fine, they don't see them as babies, they, do, they see them as, uh, well, just some little thing that is not formed yet. So, we can do similar thing here, we can say that undeads, uh, so Church of the Light, they are kind of seeing them as the real humans brought back from the, like, heavens. So they feel like, dude, you just brought a peaceful soul that was resting the, in the deserved rest in the heaven, while the Church of the Dead, they think it's just a magic simulated them. They're like, no, that's not the same person, look at them, they're dumb, they're like zombies almost, not zombies, but they're like, they don't even have the same personality. But the others say, say, yeah, they don't have the same personality because you butcher them while you are bringing them back from the heavens. And that's why the both of them could be right, but nobody really knows. And that would be an argument. I'm on, I am on what the Church of Dead would believe about this. It's good now. Oh, awesome. Oh yeah. Okay, I fixed the it fixed the I fixed the issue. Apparently streaming is super laggy in the Twitch app. I switched to the browser and it works fine. Uh-huh. I didn't even know there was an app. Uh that's really sounds good. Great thing. Thank you. Okay, so think they think that that Uh, wait, that uh, people and dead are 
people brought from heaven and their They think that undead are... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna be terrible at putting sentences together here because I'm just terrible at it in general. So they think that undead are people brought from heaven. Alright, I'm just gonna put a small note, like... Think undead are souls from heaven. Thinking that they are dumb because... They are butchered. Their souls are butchered. On while well, summoning. Alright. Uh, now I feel kind of bad because the world can be so rich, but the game would be too limited to bring it all to life. <laughs> now, we will have more than we thought uh, that I first thought I first thought it would be just this uh, guy uh, goblin who is telling you whatever is happening but no we will have other characters too and we might have less at the start before the early access maybe we will probably just have the first region and then after that uh, we're gonna keep building it and yeah, so it won't be like super long stories and stuff, everything is going to be on point, maybe player can have some options to ask additional questions if they want to understand something, but for those who just want to go through the gameplay, we don't want to bother them with a huge, huge story, so... But we can tell a lot from short uh, sentences and quests and... Uh, we should ponder as many ideas, even if most are discarded, we end up selecting... Yeah, yeah, I agree. Go crazy with ideas. I'm not, like, I'm not going to judge any ideas and I'm probably going to have a lot of, like, crazy ones that won't end up here. So, against, uh, for bringing back that, thinking that magic is what runs them, and it's fine it's better using dead for the war instead of real people so they might even have a point there if they are right and uh, so uh true okay religion said what's next all right here is another thing that i was thinking about like it this world needs a lot more building but here are some things that i have i imagine that there is like one main kingdom that is kind of holding all the other kingdoms but not really because not everybody is signing in this sort to say and people don't listen to them always so it's like a very shaky thing but kind of uh, some alliance something and then because they uh, were bringing back people from the dead there is also I should say this also. Priests have abilities to bring people back from the dead as they are, not as undead, but they have to do it right away. It's like, uh, how is it called in the science, like, not in science, but in medicine, that CV or CR or think that you, these two things that you put in your hands and then you do boof, boof on, you, on somebody's body and they, you start moving their heart. So, in this case it's magic, it's more like heal with bringing back the soul because before it goes up or whatever it does, nobody knows. But basically if somebody dies in 10-20 minutes they can bring them back. But priests, if they do this, they are super tired, they, are, they can't move for 10 days, they need to be resting and be taken care of. But the other side church of the dead they actually do the similar thing but they can bring uh, things from the other dimension and these people are calling demons and that would be uh, let's say that that's another dimension and there are maybe space and time is one thing there and nobody can really explain how that world over there works but beings from that place can come here and be resurrected instead of that soul that is instantly resurrected in that moment uh, yeah, Game of Thrones relations, something like that. <laughs> uh, so, in this case, they were bringing back these demons and they are really powerful. So, they are super 
able to use the magic and they are really strong so in our game in game mechanics demons are about three times as strong as normal units and being smarter and everything they use more abilities they can have up to four abilities while normal units can have only two so in this case uh, yeah they were bringing back demons everything was fine until at some point they had so much demons in one of these many kingdoms that these demons actually formed and taken over the kingdom and now they have a huge problem they have like a one the whole kingdom that are all demons and slaves and they are fighting them and even though that they are small kingdom they are really strong because they are demons they are way stronger and sometimes even smarter and now it becomes a taboo to bring back demons because they are seen as evil entities even though not everybody is so it's not illegal being demon they are demon who are fighting even against other demons or maybe they're the ones who fight in the pit games or they're just like regular demons living around it's all fine but the main kingdom pronounced it's illegal to bring them back and that is some uh, kind of uh, baseline that I had for some main conflict and war that is going on and at some point player would be in some region where the the war is raging against these two and then there would be a lot of problems there that you would need to solve and stuff like that uh, that's a great idea but maybe not demons maybe something more custom uh, maybe but the thing is that maybe for sure the demons is only something that people are calling them because they're they, uh, so uh, honoris creed or alexander uh, both him and me we read the name of the wind book an amazing book the best book fiction book that i ever read even though i didn't read too much <laughs> but it's a really amazing world and you know how they have that other kind of a realm they have this uh, bastion bastion is from that realm and uh, that girl that uh, quote with with was with for a year what's her name i forgot they're from the other realm kind of and people think something of them so in this case i called them made them demons but maybe we can find out another word but i wanted to it remained that uh, taboo dark something so that people don't really think it's a good thing Darkus, I, I don't know Dracus Dracus I don't know I, I don't remember that character at all I was uh, talking about that girl that she he chased and she brought him on the another and the another world and that's just straight up means demon in Latin I think oh you were giving a suggestion I thought you were talking about character from Name of the Wind. Mm. Duracus. I don't know, seems like dragon, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like dragon. How are they called in Name of the Wind? Do you remember, Sale? Hmm. They were something like specters, not specters, uh, but specters is more like a spirit or stuff like that can't remember really uh -huh. drag is dragon like creature people will call demons I don't want it to be dragons really I don't think we're gonna have dragons at all I mean I feel like they're the most overused thing in all of these <laughs> fantasy fantasy places so anyway where were we we were talking about okay let's make another one and what, what do you guys think about all this like about this uh, war and demons and why did this happen do you have some like let's throw some random ideas like i'm not super attached to these ideas everything can change so what can be different there is there something more uh, nuanced that have happened there or it depends how you build them no i'm talking about the book oh there are in the book Dracus. That, that's how they are called. No, they're not. The things from the other realm where they are... They're not Dracus. There's something that seems similar. I, I, at least I think it's not. It depends how you build them. You can make dragons more unique. Yeah, maybe we can do something, yeah. 
We could probably do something, but I wouldn't call them dragons. More like maybe some beast that is like lizard-like and... Though I would not add flying, because we have this, are this arena and walls and everything and... You know, if there is a flying creature and somebody with a sword is there, what? That is like uh, no collision for him. <laughs> that that wouldn't work, probably. So we won't have exactly flying things, but yeah, maybe some lizard-like. The giant dragon lizard-like that ate trees and people mistook for demon... Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the creature. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a creature from that book. But I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about people from the other world. You know when he was in the another, another dimension or what? Uh, he didn't know where he was, but there was this beautiful girl that he chased and then she brought him somewhere and people go mad there. These people are like uh, immortal and uh, even it even ends with Bastion being obviously something different than human and... No, I mean the creature... I'm... No, I mean the creature from the forest when quote was with Dana and they had plot because we increasing ended up burning a huge city. Jesus Christ. Oh, the fa fae. Yeah, yeah, it's like fairy, but uh, yeah, good memory. Fire. I hope so I didn't say some spoiler. I didn't, I didn't say too much spoilers. Is this from Name of the Wind? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm curious if it's used only there or just in Name of the Wind, if it's like original. I, I don't know how would I even pronounce it. Fay. Fay. It reminds me of fairy, like, let's see definition, Wikipedia. Yeah, fairy. Okay, it's not his original, it's not, a, Rufus did not coin it, seems like. Yeah, yeah, it's Fey. It's not specifically from Patrick. It's global naming for such creatures. I see. All right. So what could be other? What could be a different name for a creature from another dimension that is summoned when somebody was dying, and instead of his soul, the creature came into the body. Or do you have some different idea how uh, we could have these demons or whatever appear in this world? Basically, here is how th this all started. We needed a hero unit so that hero unit would be way stronger than usual unit because we wanted to have fun uh, uh, one versus many battles. And then Daniel said like, but why heroes? Everybody has heroes and what the hell is hero anyway? And I was like, uh, at first a bit resistant, and then I figured that he is right. So I thought maybe in famous, that would be fun for somebody who is like famous for being killer or bad. But then I figured, all right, maybe not just some title, maybe it should actually be a different creature, and that would make sense why they are so stronger. And then uh, I ended up with demons, like not real demons, but something. <clears throat> Alright, so Dan says, how about having dragons be lizards, like beasts that adapt to the environment? Maybe some are more sleek, agile and poisonous and can camouflage themselves in something like jungle, while of Westland one would be more armored to be able to dig and uh, use sharp clothes and fangs as weapons and to dig with. Hey, Trotta was right, maybe not heroes, but like you can uh, level your gladiators to the point where they're elite, like originally. Uh, Alright, let me first address the Dan or Gen Gai Shi He. Uh, so, that is. I like that. I like that, yeah. That would make sense. They, they would be lizard, almost dinosaur like creatures, and yeah, we can have bigger tankier ones in colder areas it would make sense while a really fast one yeah that's actually interesting because you know lizards are madly fast so if they were huge they probably wouldn't be as fast but they would maybe be much faster than regular um, units and then we can maybe do something with that they're just really quick and yeah and let's get to the alexander's point yeah Trotter was right uh, 
So you said that maybe we can just have normal units leveling up. That's true, but the thing is that we are going to uh, limit the levels so that, you know, in first region, uh, like the maximum level would be level four. So that in five regions that we will have in the whole game, and that's like huge, one region is three to five hours of gameplay, if not more. Ah, huge for indie game. And that's why we if we have level four as maximum yes he's way stronger than a few level ones but why not also have a level four demon who can actually defeat three level four units or how how much is that like 12 or for his level four he's have double strength we need to balance it up but basically he can defeat a huge huge amount if they're even lower level and I like that they could also then uh, have more abilities and uh, just I like the idea of, of having some champion units that are like kicking ass, that are really strong. And then with this specific unit being obviously stronger even though he's low, he's same level, because we won't go overboard with the levels. That's why I wanted something like that. So that in 5 regions we would have 20 levels total. Yeah. Actually, most big lizards are super slow, at least on the land. On land. Are you sure? This dragon, uh, how are they called? Dragon something lizard. They seemed fast to me. But maybe you're right. Komodo. Komodo dragon. Let's see how fast they are. I hope. I don't know if I should play something like this. On, well, if it's on YouTube. Uh, I think you might want to back up a little bit there, Gray. So it could be tricky to see them at their deadly best. And yes, they are very. Come on, the dragons. Ideas, but when you see them. When you see them right. Oh, tell me if it's echoing because I'm. Because I'm having audio recorded. Uh, I know stuff about downloads because they fascinate me. Actually, right now Honor Creed is my younger brother. He, we gonna he gonna come to my place in like an hour, hour and a half. We are watching Cosmos right now, but after that we want to start watching some animal shows. It's a nice thing to watch, hang out. We're thinking about Planet Earth. Yeah, Planet Earth. They have new season and. Their first season was pretty good. It's like nice, relaxing, not super intensive, but pretty fun show. Um, so we should see them in action. Right now they are not super fast, but but when you see the regular smaller lizards, even they though they are not in action, they are pretty fast. Alright, I hope this is not going to be some crazy images, but. Holy shit! <laughs> All right, attack! Uh, I'm feeling like I'm going to get some crazy video if I. I don't know what should be played here on Twitch. Uh, maybe not that. <laughs> All right, speed. <laughs> We're gonna get banned before we get the uh, first twelve followers on Twitch. Yeah, they're fast. Not as fast as a regular lizard, but look at him. Pretty fast for such a huge animal. That's insanely. This is like, like a huge dog or like a crocodile. Cool. I like the topic too. Small lizards are fast. Yeah, only one more to go. Uh, one more or what? Okay, so let's go back to the... I forgot what was this supposed to be. Uh, okay, so this is like war, but not war, more relationships between kingdoms. Dom relationship. Alright, I'm gonna write a few ideas here. And if you guys have any ideas for any kingdom or any relation uh, maybe between these kingdoms, uh, tell me and let's, let's think about that. So... First idea, Flock is faster than that lizard. Yeah, <laughs> that's his. That's his dog. Uh, 
Yeah, Elven Kingdom. Probably need a better word, but who cares? So, mm, have their own continent. Are super advanced with magic and well structures, building, architecture, architecture. What? No. Of course, I didn't get it right. Uh, subscriber, you said you get banned before twenty subs. There is chat delay, so it's a bit weird. Uh. I'm not, I'm not following it. No, I said before 15, like, because first of all, other random Elven territory name just came up with it in a second, it's not that hard. Okay, but for these things, like Azure, I have to Google it and see if somebody already used it. Like, that's, uh, it's a real place, I guess. Where is this? That's actually that's actually in Serbia. Are you kidding me? <laughs> See, like this. Is, no, this is some. It's not a place. It's some shop. What is this? Shop for what? Uh, don't know. Never mind now. Uh, so. Yeah. Mm, of course. I'm thinking the beast master could be one of the frog people or lizard people. More savage and closer uh, to nature, not having kingdom but living in nature alongside beasts. Some are food, some are companions, and some non-beasts are trespassers. More trouble feel to it. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. So shamans, maybe some orcs can have shamans, but the strongest shamans could be from these uh, frog-like people. And they are not super advanced, they're even behind orcs, because orcs have... Orcs are all, all about war, chaos, uh, they would have this wasteland uh, place where they're, they're like a Mongols. You know, if you read a bit about Mongols, you would see that before Genghis Khan, they would... Uh, everybody would be in war with everybody else and it would be a whole mess so we can have something like that for orcs that would be fun so we might use something like this but this is a bit too long there's frog people <laughs> frog people kind of contradicts uh, maybe a beast-like creature, but I wouldn't combine beast master with hunter. One kills beast and the other befriends them. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, we. we I don't think we will have hunter. We're gonna have beast master and beast uh, hunter. Beast hunter. Yeah, beast hunter. <laughs> it's a beast hunter. <laughs> I forgot. Oh. Or beast, something like that. Probably beast hunter. They are really good uh, against the beasts. They can put traps, some arrows that irritates them and stuff like that. Killing beast is only natural. Beasts are nature. We too befriend animals. Another we slaughter to eat. Well, that's true. But still, hunter. I wouldn't. Co yeah, I I agree with uh, Hunter created that we shouldn't have hunter being. Good. Well. It could be, it could be. Hunter, Murloc, and... But he's not like a beast master, he's not like surrounded with beasts, probably. But when you think about it, like Rexar from Warcraft, he's probably also hunting. He's even called... No, he's called beast master, but he's obviously hunting, that's how what he is, like, he's huge. Alright, Salamanders from people living in tribe in small tribes all around uh, some area <laughs> around some area all right i don't know what area it is but uh, because i don't have a huge big picture of the world i have like idea for a separate elven kingdom this foul wood that we are in as the first region 
and after that this would be the fall with this kind of this kind of place and the what else is there uh, wasteland for orcs and I, I didn't really think about much more the uh, afraid you have to call your argument kind of unveiled all right we have a debate we we as humans even use other animals to kill other animals yes some humans befriend some hunt we don't do both in most cases uh I personally have heavily disagree, but that's fine. But yeah, it makes sense. The hunters tend to hunt with dogs there, but beast masters would rather to refer to multiple beasts. I reckon. Uh, I would say that yeah, beast master would hunt other animals in most cases if they are but what is the beast master at the first place what are we talking about in warcraft that's like they are summoning some animals or in some cartoons i heard about <laughs> beast masters and they can communicate if they are actually able to communicate with any animal maybe they wouldn't be that inclined to hunting them maybe they're vegetarians but it really depends on what we are talking about here what is the beast master really some uh, small tribes orcs mostly in small or big uh, how is that called tribes tribes all over the wasteland region but they are every there mingling with others in other regions as well but wastelands would be some all right so wait orc Orc wasteland tribes. Let's say like that. Somewhere. So again, tribes. Else, then we can have. Oh, let me see what's going on here. But yeah, it makes sense that hunters uh, in Warcraft beast master are are also hunters. Yeah, that's true. We need to set. A pillar as to what the beast master is first off yeah exactly hunters are the ones known the most for having pets yeah not even druids have pets as much the mostly turn into those themselves so we could do the work of the, there maybe they seem to not mind this thing uh, what are you saying that we can have beast masters hunt as well or I mean that doesn't really matter too much if the beast master is a frog people and they are eating meat yes in this case they would be hunters but they probably wouldn't even would they be beast masters wait wh who is the best race for beast master uh, what's the best race for beast master like these frog people they are not too intelligent but maybe that's why they could connect with animals more than we could so that would make sense but we can have another race we can have we can brainstorm many race right now that makes sense that they are not super intelligent but they are with more with because they they are more like frogs well, not more like, but they are frogs, they are salamanders, so they would maybe be a bit less uh, likely to form relations with mammals. So maybe like orcs could be, but not really. Let's keep orcs at their wars and stuff like that. Um, worker made, worker made hunters be the main beast master of the world. So why not us too? Yeah, the tribes should be main beast masters, in my opinion. Some sort of ape or lizard race, as generally suggested. 
Hmm. Okay, so what else is there? Like, I was thinking even about some, uh, you know, like gnolls, gnolls, how do you pronounce that? Like dog people. No, something like that. Yeah, but not on the map. Again, it's really... I don't want to just completely rip them off from Warcraft, so they would need to be something a bit different. But let's say that they are some... Uh, kind of animal that is not really like super polished intelligent like elves that are on further way of the evolution regarding intelligence but something li like uh, more beast like so maybe not exactly dog but something like that gnus are more hyenas that's true Hey, yeah, great description. They're supposed to be dumb savages and very violent. Uh, yeah, as in more violent than most animals who just want to hunt and eat. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We would need something more natural, something like... Uh, you would say that elves could be, but let's put, uh, let's keep these elves some highly intelligent magic focus creatures. They are, like... These elves, in our case, wouldn't be like night elves from Warcraft who are super connected to the nature, but we need these elves to be something more like humans, but instead of technology advanced, they are more magic advanced, and that's how they thrive. thrive. If we already have our toad and lizard people as tribes, we should not make other races even more primitive, given we already have two beasts. We create too many layers. What about worgens? Uh huh. Well, that's kind of like gnolls, instead not of hyenas, but what they're like werewolf, basically, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? We have then let's we can probably have dwarves. Dwarf. Um, like kingdom. <laughs> I'm getting super original here. But we're gonna change that, it's not a problem. Just for now, let's say that they are maybe Dwarf Alliance, Allegiance, Alliance, that's not how I say it, Allegiance, how you say Alliance, Alliance, something like that, yeah, and we can have United Kingdom is taken, Alliances, it needs updating. It's it's a dumb name, I know, but Borgen and Borgen are just humans. Very off. Maybe when new race, we just did it. We made uh, no. I mean something that wasn't work of the other media. We can combine a few other animals. Uh, okay. So United Alliances. It's. Mm. It's not a kingdom, it's like more like uh, it's like European Union, like you. Uh, they are the ones who try to keep the peace, and uh, I don't know, <laughs> but they are the ones who try to keep all kingdoms working together and fair even though they are not always uh, listened and wars happen yeah something like that 
Right line says, dear Jonas, could they keep on kicking us? We together and fail. And fail. What fail? Working together and. I, I don't know what I wanted to say there. The ones who keep, keep all kingdoms working together. Even though they are. Dwarf of Lion says they are. They are under. United Alliance. But they have their own. Have several. Several. So their own, but they have several kingdoms of their own, so they have their own uh, lines. Whatever. Well, we don't even need that information. So what's up here? Uh, yeah, Naga, Murlocs, Murlocs, Murlocs are fish, not frogs. Nagas are snakes, and neither of them match the feeling of what we're propose. We do it out. Travel race, so I feel this is good enough to keep. Never said it wasn't. I just suggested that we add a new race that be more fitting for beast masters, though. That's what we're discussing, were we not? Yeah, and I said we just did. Yeah, it doesn't matter really. I mean, we could have had. We can maybe. I don't know. What, what, Let's let's even get back to what we wanted to do with Beastmaster. We wanted some unit that is actually like a support unit for all the beasts. So if we had like three wolves and another slot, it's not slots anymore, but we have more points to spend on our fighting team, we can add Beastmaster there and because there are three wolves, they're all going to get a lot of buffs and stuff from this Beastmaster and it will work best like that and now yeah some class that is most some race that is most natural should probably be beast masters so this frog like lizard like people will see how will that even work uh, they are close to the nature but on the other hand alright but I wanted to say that the problem there is that they are not mammals but beasts are not mammals neither. We can have beasts that are insect-like beasts, that are lizard-like beasts, and that are mammal-like beasts. So it doesn't really matter. We can probably use something. I'm not saying they're going to be exactly frog people, but something along this line. We will we'll think about that some more. But something uh, that is more river-like, probably. We'll see. <clears throat> okay, so here are some ideas of what would be going on. Do you guys have some ideas of what can be another kingdom thing? Like, this is not like a game is going to start telling you all of this. This is something that you can pick up through the game. It's going to be mentioned on some quest, on some part. It's like pieces of information that makes you feel like this is a real world. So some of the information probably wouldn't even... Uh, go to the player that are not super important but we can just have the world together and we'll see how how that uh, okay so elven kingdom they are their own on their own continent they are main badasses but they they wonder they are in our world but they don't want to take any more territory because they have everything they want there then we have some tribes, maybe sl slumber-like tribes, something that is different enough but natural and interesting. Then, <coughs> what was that? Uh, then we have orcs, and they are also everywhere, but they have their own wasteland. And it's not that nobody can take this wasteland, it's just that it's constant war there, like uh, Mongols, like constant war between tribes and whatnot and it's a whole mess so people are kind of staying away from it but with your caravan for these gladiator games you are going to visit that place that's going to be one of the regions and then <laughs> the joke 
well, the Joker and the team will be managing between many alliances of these orcs. Like, you do something with one alliance, and some third alliance is now angry with you, and they want to raid you because you help some, their, I don't know, sworn enemy. So, it would be a lot about their relations and trying to get uh, out of there without getting raided all the time. Then, Dwarf Alliance, that is something that is inside of the United Alliance, and a United Alliance is just everybody kind of orcs are really barely there. They sometimes have some representatives, sometimes not, because they are in their own world usually. But this is, like Alexander said, like... Uh, like a kind of like in Game of Thrones, there are several kingdoms and they're trying to keep it together, but everybody wants their own piece of pie and it's a mess. Yeah, that's one of the main things I'm hyped about the diplomatic management part of it all. Yeah, yeah. Imagine just having all these orcs and then I don't know, I haven't started even trying to write this. Because that's for the next region or maybe third region, we'll see. But it could be, be interesting for sure. We can even start by you are moving with the caravan and then there is a short dialogue. You run into some wise old shaman orcs and he starts saying and uh, the ridiculousness of it. He's like, all right, so the blood uh, tooth clan uh, is against these guys, and then uh, don't go there, and don't go there because the, the I don't know rage butt guys are there, and I don't know <laughs> million 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 these different uh, races that are not races tribes that are in war and pretty much saying that every place you want to go is really not safe and don't deal with this because they are attacked by them or don't do that don't do that overall don't do anything so it's more like player would be over overwhelmed like what is going on where did i just arrive um goblins wouldn't be united most probably uh, they would just go wherever the world and do what they can to survive. Some may go feral, others may take job to take money, some may become thieves or paid spies. Totally seems uh, befitting for goblins, not all races are out to have land. Uh, befitting? Is that fitting or is that that's separated from fitting, that, right? Wait. Oh, it no, it's it's good. English, great English. Let's do writings with my great English. So, <laughs> the the goblins, yeah. I probably wouldn't go with them going feral. I but other things I agree with uh, with the goblins just doing uh, their own thing. I mean, not their own thing, but being everywhere, and they're not super strong. Yeah, they're like... Uh, Dan, you probably watched Game of Thrones, right? So goblins would be a lot like... Uh, well, I'm not offending him, but a lot like Tyrion. They are not really strong or anything like that, but they can uh, plot, they can get into things, they can uh, they trade, they can do... So they're usually... It would make sense that they would just get into the society and then kind of start pulling the strings and doing the doing the well management not management but you know so goblins let's make another version here this is no land no land pieces, even though these are kingdoms relationships, but it would make sense to add that here. Goblins, they are... And that's like how your goblin that is working for you is, he is always thinking of some plot thing of doing on managing and he's... That's how he got this job with your uncle who was previously running the caravan of fighters. They used to always think about what they can do and all right so goblins they're everywhere uh trading plotting 
running things, but they don't have. Well, I don't need to say that because it says here. <clears throat> There's a word for no land groups, they're called nomads. Yeah, but they usually travel as well, nomads travel, but these goblins, I'm not saying that they're going to be all traveling, some are, but many are just, uh, maybe they are trading in some city, they maybe have few shops or, you know, so they are just everywhere and they, some of them are stationed at some cities, but not... Yeah, goblins aren't really nomad, they just take the land of the humans and they work for them in exchange to live with them, yeah. <coughs> Alright. So, what is next? What do you guys think? What can we add here? Alright, so just in between, because I see there is five people right here and if you guys don't know what we are doing, every weekday we talk about this game that we are making and we tell you about the progress, new ideas and stuff like that so this is actually just me brainstorming some idea with you guys this is not the regular schedule but we will um, we are there every day so you can follow us and keep the keep updated how the game is going we are actually going to play some of this game with you guys when we add uh, some uh, Twitch uh, features to the game, so some tournaments are going to be organized and you can even win the game, well, when it goes out, but we're gonna add you to the list and so feel free to do that. And let's... Let's see, what can we get here into next? Some other Zergs, worse Elves so this is history or oh, what did we add here the where is grid what are these fitting define fitting aha uh -huh. appropriate to the occasion all right thank you thank you for sharing that difference between fitting and fitting I got to go walk the dog real quick, see you later. Alright, so you should come by to my place at like 6 p.m. I started streaming later because I... ah, never mind now. But... Alright, so we see each other at 6. And let's see what we can talk here about next. So... We have several of these. What other things we can add? What would make sense? Uh, Dwarf Alliance, United Alliance. Alright. Hmm. What is something that is usually in these fantasy worlds that I missed or like? They sometimes have uh, various various types of elves, but in this case, I think one race would be enough, and because then it, they would really stand out and they would be most human-like. Then, all right, dwarves, yeah, they could be like technicians. They would build stuff, and but they're not super crazy with uh, with magic. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, we'll think about it later. Nothing is coming to mind. So, a thing in fantasy world, there is always a little creepy town that has the old cultural, cultural horror. What do you mean exactly? Such as the of empires. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Actually, the first region that we are in is actually a creepy little town. So we can add stuff like that here, but we need to think about what is exactly. So this is a lot like this would be called foul woods and they would have like a bandits and beasts all over the place and 
basically pretty bad place to live, but some people do. Um, specters and more. Actually, I'm very... My very own country is that creepy little village uh, in the pop culture vision. Oh, uh, I don't know. Are, are there some places like that? Uh, Romania? Well, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> that is that is probably true. Mm. Hmm. They can they they should actually have some kind of legends and stuff that is not even true, you know. And stuff like that. I mean, it, it shouldn't be like building a story around nothing, but around gameplay. So maybe they have a legend for I don't know ghosts or something. Even though they are no ghosts, they're just something else. But then you can leverage that. Maybe you can scheme around with that and. And that would be something to do. Huh. Okay, we can actually go a little back to this religion and ideas here. What is going on there? Because I'm running out of ideas for tribes and uh, what... You come here and media would expect you to be greeted by a creepy old man with a very strong accent telling you not to go into the forest at night or just to keep a cross uh, with you. Oh, cross, like... <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> okay. Church of Elements. These guys are probably the most neutral religion and they're built around uh, natural elements, natural magic there. So another thing, another thing here is that uh, like, you know how uh, we have classes, we have warrior, human, no, alright, it won't be human, it will be uh huh there is a problem we need it's probably going to be a dwarf we'll see oops but what do we do about that if we throw out humans we need to think about that all right we're gonna get back to that later but now about the about the what were we talking about about religions my brain just stopped i'm blank <laughs> So, if we, all right, so this is the first problem that I ran into right now, we, if we don't have humans, well, there is a bit of a problem because we did think of a lot of human races like Footman or Archer, I mean, I guess they could be Elves or something, but Elves are more magic focused, so we do need some race. Maybe we can have some race that is not exactly humans, but something along those lines. Because we need something that is in the middle, you know, so the Elves are really spell-like uh, focused. While orcs, they are berserk, big, strong, so maybe we can have something like having dwarves, maybe not having exactly dwarves, maybe having something in between, maybe they are a bit shorter than elves, not as tall as humans, and they are like something in between, maybe with some other name completely. In Warcraft, the village is Gilead's, the cursed village of Worgen. I haven't played much after these expansions. I know about Duskwood in Warcraft. Happens to a soulmate. No, 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 that would be adding too many layers. Another race between elves and humans or dwarves and humans. Yeah, but we need something in between, you know, something like... Uh, you know, because, uh, first of all, what are dwarves? Dwarves would be... 
you you know we need this like in this case here there would be orcs and we need some uh, basic warriors that have protection and maybe that can be dwarves but they don't have to be super small or even called dwarves maybe instead of dwarves i mean something uh... hmm i don't know Mm, so check the light. They can just be dwarves. Think about it. I don't know. They are smaller and be whatever dwarves you want them to be. Yeah, but why do you think it's better to have exactly dwarves instead of completely something different? Like, I don't know what, but... They do not have to be how media depicted dwarves this far. Yeah, but why ha why call them dwarves? Why not uh, Vlumble Blumblebus? I don't know. <laughs> some some, diff some maybe we probably shouldn't use completely new word, but mm, I. I need to think about this some more. But maybe. Maybe that's not. Alright, let's. Uh, because making a new race does not feel as natural. But why? I mean, we should be able to have some unique races as well. Alright, it is a game about seeing characters fight in arena, so maybe it would make sense to have normal races, but then it would probably also make sense to keep humans as well. Yeah, it, it probably would make sense to keep them. Hmm. Because uh, making a race, uh, by making a race similar to dwarves that people will know how to see them, although not take them all the dwarves this far, so you're just giving them the name of dwarves, but make them more different. Yeah, yeah, it would be even, uh, I guess it makes sense. But now I'm really considering bringing human backs, uh, humans back, <laughs> I mean not removing them. Hmm, because there is something missing there, like a between class that is, and then again, what is the unique about think about dwarves like you need to think about orcs is that they're really strong and they're like crazy running killing and when they kill somebody every race has some unique something unique so when orc kills somebody he gains like 20 percentage more damage in that battle so if there is like a demon who is inside of the orc and he starts killing a bunch of the units he's growing stronger and stronger so then you can predict all right this demon orc is going to kill these three units for sure and then we're gonna have the advantage of 60 percentage higher damage so you can include it in strategy then I was thinking about adding humans and making them have higher experience rates so that they are learning kind of faster. But I don't know. Uh, undeads, for instance, they would only have. They uh, would have like. A, it's like other guys have shape, how good shape they are from 1 to 10. So the. Uh, undeads, they would not have this shape, they would uh, have some deca the same, decaying uh, bar, and it would go lower and lower and lower, so all your dead units are actually going to die at some point, they're not uh, lasting that long, so they're kind of expendable, but that's the unique thing about them, that's why you see this strong undead unit and you're like, hmm, should I buy him, he's usually cheaper? But at the same time, you know that you will have him only for a few games and then you might push to use him more or things like that. <clears throat> okay. So we'll see, we'll see. Maybe maybe we could keep humans. I should actually write again the list of all the units and then uh, of the races and then what are their passives. But... 
I guess we could just have dwarves be warriors and the unique thing about them would be that they are warriors of the game but orcs are kind of the warriors of the game they are big and strong that is their main thing and dwarves they are small they even lord of the rings the last lord of the rings it doesn't make sense like if you would actually if the physics of that world were real they would have no chance against these orcs uh, you know, when you go and watch some boxing or MMA, they have categories with weight for a reason. Like 10 more pounds means that they are just stronger. There is no way. There is actually a fun clip. Uh, Mountain versus Connor. Look at this thing. I don't know if you... I'm not following MMA much, but I know about this guy. And this is Mountain from Game of Thrones. And look at this. Look how bigger he is. And he has, like, every advantage. There is no chance. Even this guy, Connor, is, like, one of the best fighters in the world. He just can't do anything to him. And the thing is that if there were <laughs> the wars and orcs... Uh, like in Lord of the Rings, these orcs would just murder them. There is no way. It's like fighting children. So I know that's a fantasy world and blah blah blah, but I kind of want to have that physics that makes sense. So if they are smaller, they wouldn't be the strongest, but they could have something else. Maybe technology, maybe they have some really not very developed guns, but really you know, like first guns that are, so they can kind of use that or some mechanical shields and anything that they can use to win the fight. <clears throat> well, now you're comparing the orc with the warrior class you created, so the problem is actually there. But here, look at this. Here we have warrior, a human, and we have orcs. So if we add another warrior human, these guys, we can even add three of them. Uh, why? What am I doing? We can even add three of them and they are going to be probably killed by this guy. But that is the thing. Uh, he's way stronger. All right. If they are all next to each other, they would be able to defeat them. But he is defeating them because they are not together. Uh, but my point is that now if we bring Archer, she is going to be able to kill the Orc. Alright, maybe not now with this speed. Yeah, so he's dead. I increased his speed because we are testing running, so maybe Archer will lose now. She will probably lose now. But generally, Archer would be able to defeat Orc in... Well, not with this speed, of course, <laughs> but if he was a bit slower. So there is still a balance. The, and now the point of that balance is that she can't really defeat the warrior human because his advantage is that he's really well armored and he can protect himself. So, yeah, maybe we can have a dwarf that is really well armored and maybe has some technology that is helping him out, but he cannot compete with the strongest warriors, but he can compete maybe against some magic stuff or against some ranged things. Maybe he has some technology that uh, goes, is fired up and it collides with projectile. So let's say a mage shoots a firebolt and his shield fires a projectile to just defuse the firebolt. So he's good against mages again, uh, as well. So you can, uh, I guess the worst very well. No. Oh, I see. My. <clears throat> I. We should have another document that is about these races because this is what we are talking about we started will <laughs> building the world but we are back to game design but that is fine it needs to be connected anyway so unit no races races and eh, just races okay so elves dwarfs uh, maybe humans, I'm not sure. Maybe we can have dwarves, something like that. But we need some main 
characters in these lands that are in the wars they just don't feel like main characters there so let's for now keep humans but we'll think about it still orcs and what's the name of these frog things salamander frog like All right, so these are some of the main things. See, we could maybe have dwarves be inventors of the world. Yeah, yeah. And we have the dwarf unit like steampunk armor and iron arms. A very resistant but slow melee unit. I wouldn't go steampunk because that is high technology. But I would go something, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. But somewhere in between. Here is the thing, if this world had guns that we have in our world, uh, anything, everything else would be useless. Like, what firebolt you can just do, da, 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 and every mage is dead. But, uh, you know, when, the, when these guns started, they were not as efficient. Like, people with arrows, uh, with bows and arrows, were actually stronger than people with guns, because guns were really bad at the start. But the advantage of the guns was that everybody can use them. So, that's why they kept getting better. So you don't need huge skill to fire an arrow. But in this world, I would kind of keep the technology on some limits so that it's not gone too far. So if we would have exact robots and stuff like that, I feel like that would already be... that would already take over everything else. But... Hmm. A very... How about we call the salamanders trottens? Sounds good, sounds fitting, sounds simple and catchy. The rottens. What is that kind of... Uh... I thought... Uh, trot... What is trot means? Does trot mean something? Which reference to horse... A rotter produces or causes... Pr faster than walk... Lifting the journal... Mm, but it would remind too much of horses. What is that? Their way of moving or I'm not... Sorry. No, it's made up term, uh, not actual term, I just made up... Oh, right. It reminds me of some frog things and makes sense, but it's also uh, too much... Uh, I think it has too much connection with horses. But definitely not salamander, I don't know. We'll see. You see, I took a Romanian term, Triton, which means... I don't know what it means. Aha. Uh -huh. If we keep them more frog-like... Well, this is not frog-like, this is like lizard-like. I don't know much terms for this animal species in English, so I have to Google everything. Uh, where are we? Races. Alright. So, orcs. Plus 20%. Oh, we got subscriber. Thank you. I don't see who it is. X Daniels has followed. That's uh, <laughs> that, that's our programmer. That's I mean not our programmer. Programmer. Much closer to Indians. Plus twenty damage. Plus twenty percent damage. After kill, then uh, plus experience. Now, elves they should have something for magic, maybe. Uh, 
I mean, we could just go simply with additional, you know, less cost for magic or additional something. But what does it really mean? Because every class, like mage, is going to be elf only. So it's not like mage elf is stronger than orc uh, mage. So we need to think of something a bit different there. Hmm. We'll see. Amphibian, yeah. Much closer to frogs than lizards. Lol, I wanted to see how it looks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, now, now it looks better. We have like more subscribers, not subscribers, followers. 12 or 13, I don't know. Amphibian. All these words are... Maybe something like that could be combined, but I'm not completely sure, sure what they would look like yet, and I don't know. We'll see. So races, elf, dwarves, human... <laughs> elf, dwarf, human... Yeah, well... Especially as no, not native English speaker, all these words are like fully bluely, something like that. That's how everything sounds. I mean, I know I'm Phoebean, I heard about that one, but the previous one, what was. I forgot already. Triton, or. Yeah, I didn't hear that one. Hmm. Okay. We There are also goblins, but goblins are not going to be fighters because, come on, they're like. The small like part. What are they going to do? <laughs> Somebody could kick them and throw them out of the arena. So that wouldn't be very realistic. I mean, we want to have some kind of physics and f realisticness in the game, even though we can't have it perfectly. For instance, if Mage is summoning a fireball from the sky and it hits a group of enemy, of course it's going to hit only enemy units because we just can't make it that smart that it knows. Uh, not only not that smart, but, uh, you know, they they get into the combat right away, so it just wouldn't make much sense if it uh, would damage everybody, even though in the real world it would damage everybody, but, but other than that, we want to make it somewhat natural, like, it's not going to take forever for them to kill each other if somebody lands a blow with axe, it's going to take off half of the health or maybe even kill the unit and... That's why we don't really want to have goblins to, as fighters. Plus they're not crazy with magic and... Okay, then you will have to trust me to tell you how these terms will sound to people and have them feel, I would guess. Well, depends how often it is used, really, the term. But the... Mm, where are you? Race, here you are. As I said, I'm not completely sure. I don't want them to be exactly like Murlocs from uh, Warcraft. Although Murloc, th what is that? I don't know if that is m completely made up or what is that word. But it really sounds like a frog, like Murloc. <laughs> completely <laughs> describes. I think that, um, you know, some words just feel like something. Like you said, trotters, that actually feels to me kind of like frog. Well, maybe because like uh, Todd's, like Todd, right? Is it Todd? Todd, yeah. Murloc is made up word. Yeah. And it's supposed to sound like something you say underwater. Yeah, yeah, like Murloc! <laughs> Hmm. All right, let's see if we can finish this thing, at least outline of this religious thing. So we have this Church of Light, Church of the Dead. Let's add a few more things. This is mainstream and most powerful politically religion. All right. 
elements there would be more like maybe Buddhists or something. They're uh, much, much more passive, let's say, because they're not crazy about converting and they don't have these controversies that the Church of Light and Church of Dead have. Oh, this is what I wanted to say the previous time. So, uh, the thing about, uh, like, Warcraft, or any, anything like that, they have classes, they have, like, a warrior, a rogue, a mage, or something, and in order for that to make sense in the real world, that would need to be placed where all these guys are training. So, it's not like somebody is born a mage, it's just that they are getting training from... It's like somebody's a boxer or something, they're all like a class, but they're just training at a certain place. And that's what we can actually have. So priests, not priests, purifiers, they can be trained at Church of Light. And maybe a few classes are trained there, maybe there are some sub-places and... Again, this doesn't even have to enter the story at all, maybe just some part of it so that it feels like there is a real world behind. So it's not like I'm saying that we need to mention where every class is training, I'm saying that we should mention few. Like, alright, so these are uh, newly... Maybe the goblin can say to you, oh, so the newly trained uh, purifiers came right from the Church of the Light on the east uh, somewhere. And then we can introduce that part of the game there. And it would make sense to have these classes because of that. Or we can even have some street thug class where he didn't really go to train anywhere, he just learned. On his own. Uh, you put your head on the water and make sound, it sounds like blah, 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 blah. and that is good name for a fish people race. Yeah, yeah, they nailed that, that name. More, much more passive and without too much politics and controversy. As other two, and then we can say classes. So it's not that these three religions are the only ones who are training everybody. This one is not even a religion. This one is more like something else. But many are trained here, so we had purifiers and um, probably mages. Then here we would have warlocks, uh, necromancers, and. Uh, which is maybe maybe we'll see we'll see we're gonna we need to think about all their abilities and whatnot and yeah but here it is all right okay I'm kind of getting dry on ideas right now that's usually how it works it's like a training you go on and you start I don't know doing push-ups or whatnot and then you just see that you can't do much more and that's how I feel usually about uh, creativity I maybe take a walk and then I feel like oh my god I have huge burst of creativity right now and just ideas are coming 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 and then less and less and there is nothing so right now I feel like I'm getting near the <laughs> near the nothing Inspiration is definitely part of it, but I think inspiration is more like you, when you said the purifier instead of priest. That inspired me or triggered me to think about, wait, we need to figure out how the religion systems are working in this world. And then I'm like, all right, but that means that I have to think about the evolution of this world as well. So you kind of inspired, motivated me to think about certain things and some things 
popped out. But right now, I don't know. I feel like it's a mana or stamina and it's going down. <laughs> and it's less and less. So I'm going to wrap this up pretty soon. But if, uh, if you have some ideas or something that we can add before we wrap this up, let's, let's consider these two. Also, you're overthinking a little too much. Uh, what do you mean exactly? I might be overthinking some things, but that's my thing. I like to overthink things. I don't even call it overthink. I, I call it think it thoroughly. <laughs> and my tea is cold. Um, I'll just add it on Discord. The fantasy world does not need to be too accurate. I want this to be accurate. I really like logical things. I'm, I'm a logical person, I don't know. And then I like to really understand. All right, some things can be kind of in the mist. Nobody understands them. Like uh, in Star Wars, they did not need to maybe explain the Force or everything. It's fine. Like that's the, how the world is. Like this is how here there is magic and there is another realm with another creatures and that just is. But other than that, I want to kind of understand it. I don't want to just have a bunch of random things. I was watching the trailer for this game, Warhammer, and they have some uh, elves on one side and some lizard people, and lizard people are led by a frog that is flying on some platform. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, why is this? How, how did it come to this? <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they have pretty good laid out universe. They probably do because they have a lot of games and they, you can, I think, request them to give you access to some of their universe. But just that trailer felt to me like... Uh, like it didn't all click together. While books like uh, Name of the Wind or right now I'm reading Stormlight Archives, they really have everything click together. And then you're reading and all right, it's a fantasy, it's this and that. And then you have some information. And then when you get another information and when it all clicks, it really feels good because you, you then understand that it's actually, it makes sense in this world what is going on. Um... The fun is uh, not if you can end endanger the creativity of the world. All right, make it as you envision it, and it is okay if you envision it more accurate. Also, I do feel you. I too prefer a sense of my fantasy worlds. Yeah, I know. It's like uh, in, this is something I was uh, listening to some. Uh, well, talks from some writers like the guy who wrote The uh, Name of the Wind, Patrick Rothfuss, Rothfuss. so a few more, Brandon Sanderson, and they're talking about it and there were some panels where they were talking about the magic and there were like five, six uh, writers and somebody asked question like how accurate should the magic systems be? and how much somebody knows who is reading and Brandon Sanders Sanderson he was the first guy to talk and he said like yeah it should be really accurate you need to know it like it's a physic and everybody else on the, the panel was like what that would ruin it that would ruin the fantasy the uh, like um, wonder of it and so people disagree about this a lot but I stand on the other side where I want it to make sense. I don't necessarily need to explain everything. So maybe some things wouldn't be explained at all. But it's good. If, I think it's good if it makes sense, at least to me, so that it's not an inconsistent completely. Like in Lord of the Rings, Gandalf just pulls out whatever spell he needs at the moment. <laughs> like light, we have light. Firebolt. Did he fire? No, was it Saruman? Somebody was firing fireballs, I think. I mean, Lord of the Rings is amazing, amazing. One of my favorite movies, but maybe it has some rules. Maybe writer, like Tolkien, maybe he had some rules there, but didn't explain it them too much. But I don't know. Anyway, I think this is it for today. And... As always, Dan, thank you for hanging out and everybody else who is here also. We are here every 
like weekdays so feel free to join and let's uh, brainstorm and bring this game together way better than we would on our own so i really appreciate all the ideas today and uh, we are one step closer to having this universe built yeah so i'm waiting just a moment if you want to say something before i end the stream because there is a little f like 10 seconds delay probably maybe not that much maybe five but here it is I also kept this uh, folder public so anybody on Discord can actually open any of these things and check them out and I'm gonna keep building it here so that it's very open yeah all right man so see ya and yeah well <laughs> we'll stay in touch